My dear friends, the principle behind the scented gel air freshener is all about a polymer. A polymer which is used here in making the scented gel air freshener is a collagen, a protein that forms a matrix type structure allowing the gelatin to hold its shape. Now basically, a polymer is a chemical compound or mixture of compounds consisting of repeating structural units created through the process of polymerization. So here the polymer used is a collagen. My dear friends, collagen is a group of naturally occurring proteins found in animals, especially in the flesh and connective tissues of vertebrates. It is the main component of connective tissue and it is the most abundant protein in mammals, making up about 25% to 35% of the whole body protein content. So it is this protein that forms a matrix type structure. Rest is all about the fragrance oil. The fragrance oil which is used in here as a material to make the freshener plays a very important role because the fragrance oil particles are suspended in the matrix of the gel which keeps the scent trapped inside it and as the gel evaporates the scent particles are released from the matrix causing the scent to be released continuously from the air freshener. Thus, the scent particles diffuse in the air, hence spreading the fragrance. So in this way, the principle works behind making the scented gel air freshener. Now let us see that what are the materials required for it. Yes, the materials required are the unflavored gelatin. Here you can see a beautiful picture of unflavored gelatin. And this is a box, a pack of gelatin. Inside this is a powdery substance which is white in color. My dear friends, gelatin is a translucent colorless, brittle, flavorless, solid substance which is derived from collagen. Collagen which is obtained from various animal byproducts. So gelatin is commonly used as a gelling agent in food, in pharmaceuticals, in photography in cos and also cosmetics manufacturing. And in today's session which we are discussing about is all about a gelling agent in food. So basically substances containing gelatin or functioning in a similar way are called gelatinous. What do we call the nature of gelatin? It is gelatinous. Gelatin is an irreversibly, sorry, irreversibly hydrolyzed form of collagen and is classified as a food stuff means we can use it in eatables. It is found in most gummy candies as well as the other products such as marshmallows, gelatin dessert and some ice cream and yogurt also. Even household gelatin comes in the form of sheets, granules or powder. Here we can see its powdered form. So there are instant types which can be added to the food as they are and others need to be soaked in water beforehand. So this is one such important material which is used in making the freshener, gel air freshener. Other than the unflavored gelatin, fragrance oil is also used. Now my dear friends, fragrance oil or fragrance oils are also known as aroma oils. or aromatic oils and flavor oils which are blended synthetic aroma compounds or natural essential oils that are diluted with a carrier like vegetable oil or a mineral oil. So this, these aromatic oils or aroma oils are used in perf perfumery, in flavoring of food, in cosmetics and also in aromatherapy. 
here we are discussing about the flavoring of food so fragrance oil is also used in flavoring of food to some people synthetic fragrance oils are less desirable than plant derived essential oils as components of perfume now here you can see the beautiful fragrance oils they are they come in various colors some of them include vanilla flavor sandalwood flavor cedar flavor cinnamon lemongrass rose hip or peppermint so many such flavors are available in the market which we can use it depends upon uh, on upon our choice that what type of flavor we want in our gel freshener now other than these other materials are also required like food coloring now food coloring is any dye pigment or substance that imparts color when it is added to food or drink and these food coloring or color additives sorry color additives they come in many forms consisting of liquids powders gels and pastes food coloring is used both in commercial food production and also in domestic cooking so due to its safety and general availability food coloring is also used in a variety of non food applications including cosmetics pharmaceuticals home craft projects and medical devices other than food coloring table salt is used in making the freshener now you might be thinking that how this can be useful that we will see in the procedure that we will discuss in the procedure now we know very well that what is table salt we know very well that in many cuisines around the world salt is used in cooking and is often found it is found in salt shakers and diners eating tables for their personal use on their food so table salt is refined salt which contains about 97 to 99% of sodium chloride so why do we use table salt in making the scented gel air freshener it is because of its property that it usually contains substances that make it free flowing means it acts as an anti caking agent so it will hold on to the particles it will hold on to the gel particles it will trap the particles of the gel and thereby it will release the scent so now let us see that what is the procedure of making this freshener yes first of all boil 1 cup of water and stir in 4 packages of gelatin until it gets dissolved then remove from heat after some time and add it in 1 cup of cold water that is the another cup of cold water after that add about 10 to 20 drops of the fragrance oil to the gelatin as per our choice and if you like you can add a few more drops of food coloring as well because as I said before that it is a substance that imparts color so you can add more drops of food coloring to give it a very fine color after that add one tea sorry tablespoon of salt to the gelatin mixture to keep mold from growing as we know that it is a gelatin mixture it is a gelatin so obviously there will be the path there will be pathogens which will attack and it will make this gel freshener stale or it will spoil it so to keep mold from growing we are adding table salt this is what is the main property of the table salt because of which we are adding it to gelatin mixture now after performing this activity what can we observe we can actually observe that the gel particle that the particles the fragrance particles that are trapped in the gel but this isn't it the procedure still goes on after adding the tablespoon one tablespoon of salt that is carefully 
Pour the gel into the small jars and allow the gel to set either at room temperature or in the refrigerator. And set them around your home and smell the fragrance coming from them. So finally, after following the procedure, we can observe that gel air fresheners are able to scent the air for a long time. Now, you can also check the strength of the smell at this time and you can add more oil if necessary because this will firm up at the room temperature but if you want to set it to a quicker or a quick time you can place it in the fridge and you can place these gel fresheners, gel air fresheners in your closet or in your bathroom. You can cover these when, with the thin cloth or the perforated paper if you like. Or you can keep it high enough that anything, that no, nothing can stick to the surface or it can be put out of sight. So this is the way you can prepare and you can make the beautiful scented gel air freshener of your own choice of your own food coloring agent by adding food coloring agent or of your own fragrance your choice of fragrance I hope you enjoyed studying about this activity and I'm sure you will make one so I'll meet you in the next session with a new interesting science activity. Till then, have a nice time and make your own freshener.